Lesson 1, a simple OpenGL project. To follow along with this lesson, you will need to have Visual C++ installed. I'm using a Windows 7 machine with Visual C++ 2010 Express Edition for this lesson, but everything should work similarly if you are using a different Windows operating system and a reasonably recent version of Visual C++. If you need to install Visual C++, you can do so for free by following C++ Console Lesson 0. To begin, create a project just like the one we created in C++ Console Lesson 1. Then copy this code into main.cpp instead of the Hello World program. Otherwise, you can download the code and project from the lesson page for this video at this URL. The downloadable project was created with Visual C++ 2010. So if you have an earlier version of Visual C++, you will need to create a console project and add the code to it. Once you have a project set up with the code, open a browser window and enter this URL into the address bar. This will bring you to Nate Robbins' web page, where you can download the GLUT files that you will need. On this page, right-click the link GLUT 3.7.6 bin.zip to open this context menu and left-click Save Target As to open the Save As dialog. Now navigate to a folder where you would like to save the file. Then left-click the Save button to save the file. When the download finishes, left-click the Open Folder button to open the Download folder. Then right-click the file to open this context menu and left-click Extract All to open the Extraction dialog shown here. To decompress the files, left-click the Extract button. Now the folder where your files were extracted to should be open. Double-click the folder GLUT 3.7.6 bin to open it, and you should see the files shown here. We need to put some of these files in their proper places to be able to compile and execute our program. To begin, open the Include folder for Visual C++. If you are using Visual C++ 2010, with the default directory installation that we showed in C++ Console Lesson 0, then the Include directory is located here. If you are using a different version, the Include directory should be easy to find. Now, left-click and drag the file glut.h to the Include directory. You may see this warning dialog when you finish the drag. If so, just left-click the Continue button. Next, open the lib folder for Visual C++. Again, the default location for the lib directory is here. Then left-click and drag the file glut32.lib to the lib directory. Finally, open the System folder which is located here. Then left-click and drag the file glut32.dll into the System folder. This finishes the setup and we can now compile and execute our code. To do this, left-click Debug in the menu bar and left-click Start Debugging in the sub-menu. After a minute or so, the program should finish compiling and you should see this window with a diagonal line in it. That finishes our first OpenGL lesson. With this setup, we can now write OpenGL programs with GLUT in any simple console project.